my channel my name is Angel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this beautiful sultry natural makeup look so if you're not already an angel babe and are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell sis so you won't miss any more of my uploads let's go ahead and jump right into it we're gonna only be using two eyeshadows by the way maybe three and we're not gonna be using the traditional eyeshadow palette sis we're gonna be using something different um, I feel like this is a good thing to use, especially if you are a beginner and you don't have many products to start with at home. Pretty much just use what you got, sis. So everything in this video is also going to be super affordable um, and from the drugstore. So we'll go ahead and call this a drugstore makeup look, sis. Okay, using what you got. So I am going to be using this Black Radiance True Complexion um, Contour Palette. And I have mine in the shade Dark Deep. I know y'all like, wait a minute, what are we doing? So we are going to be using contour for our eyeshadow. We're going to take this shade right here in the middle and we're going to use this as a transition. I love the warm tones that this palette gives very warm like i feel like it's so hard to find a transition shade in those beautiful brown shades in eyeshadow palettes um nowadays anyway um besides uh companies like juvia's place or um anastasia um just to name a few other than that it's really hard to find those transition shades that are for us women of color and even for women that are even darker than myself so this is a great alternative um, if you are having a hard time finding um, a transition shade for your eyes and also I have not been wearing eyeshadow as much as I normally do so if you are that type of girl you just prefer like a more simple look this palette is for you sis you can literally create a whole look using these three shades that come in this palette wow and i will say this palette is very buildable like very buildable like this color went from like and this is what i was talking about i don't know if you guys can see but it kind of does have like a lot of kick up but nevertheless sis this palette can definitely be built up like i feel like if i were to go into this one this one will get really really dark it will probably be really really pretty too but we're going to stop right there because we want this look to kind of be um, a soft, natural kind of look. And now for my lids, I'm just going to take this highlighter, you guys, that I had in my declutter pile to throw away or to give away or whatever. I have had this color for a minute. This is probably their old packaging and everything. But it's in the shade Precious Petals. And this is a beautiful shade, you guys. It's kind of like a champagne-ish, peachy, golden kind of shade. I feel like it's not too gold. It's not too silver, it's not too pink, like it's right in the middle for what I want. And by the way, you guys, did I tell you guys this? I'm pretty much playing with makeup looks. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do the bridal party makeup for my sister's wedding. So um, I want something super simple. I don't wanna have to pick up a whole lot of um, eyeshadows for one person and I don't want to have to pack a bunch of eyeshadows. So we're gonna go ahead and take this Morphe M167 and we're gonna put this on the lid oh yeah this is beautiful we're only taking that shadow about half a little over halfway and I'm also going to use the minimum amount of brushes possible too. So just going back in with the first brush, I am just going to take a little bit more of that eyeshadow that we use, the transition shade, and just to kind of blend this all together. And just to add a little bit more depth to this eyeshadow look, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this contour shade right here. And I am going to use this using the same brush with a light hand. I'm just going to blend it on the outer edges. 
that gave me exactly what I needed. So for my lashes, I'm going to be using these uh, Shop Miss A AOA Studio Lashes. And these are in the style Alexis. Oh, I almost forgot. I am going to apply a little bit of eyeliner. Uh, I'm not creating a wing or anything. I'm just going to do a simple line just to better help um, the lash band blend. And so everything can look a lot more um, darker and sultry. Lashes are on, so for primer, I'm gonna be using my Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer. And I'm just gonna focus this um, in the areas where I get oily, like I always do, sis, and um, where I have pores. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. I have not used this foundation in a minute, you guys, and I am in the shade Coconut. Woo! I have not used this in so long, y'all. A little nervous, but I know this is a really nice full coverage foundation, and I know you only need a little. And I know this foundation does pull a little red, but concealer is going to fix it. Trust the process, sis. So for concealer, I'm just going to use my LA Pro Concealer, um, and I'm using the shade Cool Tan. setting powder I'm just using this black opal loose setting powder um, in the shade neutral light I have not used this powder in a minute but I love it because I love the color and I love how much coverage it gives me I mean, just look how much coverage this powder gives you guys. And I love the way it just sits on the face. It's sitting very much so. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of the face. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my powder brush. And I'm going to be using my soft focus powder. Then to bronze this face up because we need some more color, sis, some more melanin. I'm going to use this Nika K Duo um, Contour Duo. You can get this from your beauty supply store, you guys, and it's only like $1.99. And mine actually just hit pan. It's good. It's so good. And I'm also going to be trying out a new brush um, to bronze up my face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush. I was using the Flawless Face Brush, which I love. But I just felt like that one um, was kind of losing its shape a little bit and I needed something a little bit more precise because my face is not that big and I felt like my bronzer was just getting everywhere, sis. So we're going in with the lighter shade in this palette and this one's in the number ND009. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here um, this orange one because that one had like a little orange tint to it too and I'm using the lighter one and this one is in ND006 I'll leave everything that I use down in my description bar you guys and hopefully I remember because last time I forgot and somebody was like I don't see the products I was like oh let me go edit and update it for y'all and y'all know I get blush crazy. I freaking love blush. So pretty. And before I forget, of course, we have to snatch the nose. And I'm just using my usual um, powder. 
this L'Oreal Infallible powder and I love this for my nose it's like the perfect color and then I just go over with my beauty sponge just to make sure it's nice and blended out moving on to highlighter I am going to actually you know what I'm gonna use this same color that we use on my lid on the um, as my highlight and I have only just been using a little tiny bit I probably won't even use any on my cheeks so I've been liking my face matte and I think at this point you guys I really do think I'm just over highlighter um, we'll put a little on my forehead right here in the center but yeah I really just think I'm over highlighter anyway and then I'm just gonna blend it out with this sponge and before we move on to lips I'm just gonna go ahead and also use that same color and I normally never apply shimmers on my brow bone but we're doing it today we're doing it I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually really, really like that. And then I'm also just going to take that eyeshadow going back in with it and just kind of making it a little bit more pigmented in this area right up in here. I have two different liners here. Um, these are the e.l.f. Extreme Lasting Eyeliners. Um, I'm not sure if I want to use the brown one or either the black. I just always think black is so harsh so we're gonna go with the brown like I just feel like black is just not that forgiving like if you get up with black like you it up okay <laughs> but like with, with lighter shades like you can kind of come back from those so we're gonna go ahead and hop back into this contour palette and we're going to go ahead and just take the darker shade. Um, let's find a brush. Okay, we'll use this one. This darker shade right here. And we're just kind of going to place it right on top of that eyeliner. It kind of helps better set the eyeliner. And uh, we're also going to kind of smoke it out just a little bit. And then for mascara, I'm just going to be using this Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. And I'm going to apply it on my top lashes. A little on the falsies too. Since these are so simple. Oh my gosh. And then on my waterline. My bottom lashes. And for my lip liner, you guys. Do y'all hear Kaysen? Oh my gosh. This NYX Wade Matte Lip Liner in Downtown Beauty. And I'm just going to be using this to line my lips. And then for my lipstick, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild. I have the old packaging. I need to go get the new packaging because I complained about Wet n Wild Make a Last Lipstick Packaging for the longest. And maybe they listened to me. They finally came out with new packaging, you guys. And I need to go re-up and get some new lipstick packaging. But this was in the shade Never Nude. But I'm trying to be a minimalist and I'm trying not to be wasteful. So, I'm trying to just use what I have. Ooh, this is pretty and matte just like this oh my gosh and if you don't have cork lip liner you guys this is totally a dupe 
So I was going to leave it matte, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of this gloss. And y'all know I love Beauty Supply Store Lip Gloss. It's just the um, NK, the Nikki K um, Lip Gel. And I'm just going to take my little Wet n Wild Lip Brush. And I'm just going to apply just a little of this. And I only apply just a little, like just a teeny, teeny bit of gloss. So this is pretty much the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And if you like this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can become a part of the family. I love you guys so, so much. Y'all be safe. Follow your dreams. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.